Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday in the Word. This morning, we're going to be in 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. Listen to what God's Word says. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. This is a great passage of scripture. You know, as Christ followers, we ought to be identified by our love. We ought to be identified by our love for God and our love for people. You know, when I read this passage of scripture, I'm reminded that love and sacrifice go hand in hand. As Christ followers, we deny ourselves, we take up our cross, and we follow Jesus. And so there are sacrifices that we make so that we can love God. But there's also sacrifices we make so that we can love others. You see, love is not passive. Love is active. It's an action that we take each and every day. We, we can't just claim that we love God. We have to show that we love God. And how do we do that? We do that through obedience. Uh, the Bible tells us over and over again, Jesus tells us that if you love me, you will do as I say. You will obey my commands. And so we can't just claim to love God. We have to show it. And we do that through obedience. But as we see in this passage of Scripture, we can't just claim to love others. We can't just claim to love people. We have to show it. How do we show that we truly love people? Well, I believe we do that through service. We do that through sacrifice. I believe in this passage of Scripture, Jesus exemplifies true love. And if we call ourselves Christ followers, then we live as Jesus lives. We walk as Jesus walks. And he lived and he walked in love. Love for God and love for others. So you and I, we have to live. We have to walk in love. Love for God and love for others. Let's follow the example that Jesus Christ made for us. Don't you love that? I love what it says right there in verse 16. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. You know, sometimes sacrifice costs our lives. Uh, I, we just celebrated Memorial Day, and we celebrated men and women who served our country, who sacrificed their lives so that you and I could live freely. Well, the ultimate sacrifice was made by Jesus Christ when he died on the cross for your sins, for my sins, so that we could live freely forever. We are free from the penalty and the bondage of sin forever and ever. Thanks be to God for the love and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And so if we call ourselves Christ followers, we have to live as Jesus lived. We have to love as Jesus loved. Let's go out and let's show the world what true love looks like. It is an action. Let's obey the commands of God. Let's obey God's words to us and let's serve others. Let's sacrifice for others so that God's love in us can be manifested, so that it can be shown to the world and they can walk in the light as you and I walk in the light as Christ followers. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for being with us today and Wednesday in the Word.